Hello guys, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for 10,000 members on my Discord. And uh, yeah, actually just join my Discord, uh, it's in the description. And also, I appreciate all of my subscribers, all of my views, bro. You guys are absolutely amazing, I really love you guys. And uh, yeah, let's just start the video. Hope you guys do enjoy the short little G Fuel uh, tutorial, like a G Fuel ad tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, yeah, let's just get into the video. Have a good one. You want to go into Photoshop and you want to put, you want to create like a project, which is 1728 by 2160 and hit create. And once you have done that, you're going to have your ad um, thing here. So yeah, so what we're going to do first is we're going to import the picture that we're going to be using. And I'm going to be using this for our ad. So I'm not going to be putting the skull and I'm thinking I'm going to put the G fuel and make it sink into the sand in here. Now you want to get your uh, render uh, of your whatever G Fuel can you're going to be using. I'm going to be using the Baham Mama or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to be using this. Uh, so we're going to place it where we want it to be, like kind of where we want it to be. So a bit smaller in the middle. And I'm thinking going. So if this is the middle, we can do like that. Yup, that's that, that might work. All right, so like this. So it, it doesn't look like much right now, right? But you want to actually copy this. You want to go put this like, okay, wait, so control J, drag this over here and then hold alt, press uh, down here, and then you're going to create a clipping mask, right? Now you're going to use the razor tool. This is the, this is my way of you doing this. You're going to put the flow on max and why? Okay. Yeah, there you go. And you want to just, uh, put hardness on max and there you go. And now you can do like, you know, See how it's already like melting that thing. So like melting, what am I talking about? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to line that out pretty, pretty good. We're going to try to have the text visible. So like we know that it's Bahama Mama. This looks pretty good. Just want to finish up the edges if it looks weird. There you go. That looks the most realistic to me. I mean, uh, it's it's pretty all right, you know Well, yeah, once you have done that, that's basically how you do it and now it looks like it's you know sinking into the thing into the ground So now what I want to show you guys is how to create shadows lighting and everything so I've already done a well I haven't done a single like video on it like I haven't done a tutorial on it, but We're gonna be doing a tutorial on it in this video kind of so, okay I'm gonna choose like a high color like a high exposure color but actually what we're gonna do first we're gonna need a sun so somewhere in here is gonna be a sun so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an exposure we're gonna create that down there Put the exposure all the way up and then control e and then you see we have a source of light so i think the light is gonna come from this side uh yeah that looks good yeah so we're gonna have this light coming from this side like that so now once we have done that what you want to do now is you want to create an exposure layer the clipping mask into the bahama mama thing you want to put the exposure bit up you want to control e to invert it and now you can add like light from the top come in and you can actually do the same with exposure but putting the exposure down so it's like a shadowy and you can do the same thing so just like that and now you see Oh, this has to be white. It's not going to work if it's black, you see. So make sure it's white and you can create like a little shadow here. Of course, what we're going to do, actually, we're going to create like a shadow here. Don't like this. Okay, wait. So just like this. Try to create most like try to make it look realistic just like that kind of of course try to make it as realistic as possible and once you have done that you can create another layer color it black and now what you want to do is you just want to like go from the edges and like that and what you actually also want to do actually before you do that let's just finish up this so we're going to create like a little shadowy black thing over here so it looks like there's like a shadow coming and we're going to put this on overlay and then we can put the over, I mean, the passy bit down and stuff. So we're actually going to do that like that. Like that. And once you've done that, what you can actually do is create another layer. 
And now you want to go carefully just like this. So it creates like a little shadowy shadow like this. It just looks more realistic. You know what I mean? So we just want to like go like that. There we go. And you see, it, it did something, you know. Just some magic into that. But yeah, once you've done that, we have still like pretty bad lightning, of course. So what we want to do now, we actually want to create a shadow. Uh, actually, not yet. Let's do first lighting. So you can tell we have a bit light lighting here. Uh, we could change up on this a little bit. Put the passive bit down like that. That's more realistic. Uh, but yeah, create another layer. Uh, this time we're gonna do whites, and we're gonna put it to the top like this, because of course that's where it's coming from. Then like a little brush like that. Now we could do overlay, which is what we're actually gonna do, and we're gonna copy this layer. I'm gonna paste it on here, of course. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on lighten. No, on screen. And you actually want to put the passy a bit down. Just like this. Just like that. Create another layer. And now make it smaller and make it like, you know, like this. Like on the edges. So it gets all like the... This looks way too weird. So hold on. We want to put the passy a bit down like that. And what's making it look so white here? Hmm, oh, well, maybe that's just how the bottle was. But yeah, uh, we're gonna need to do something with that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another layer and we're gonna like that. And now we can do overlay and bit down. There you go. That looks pretty alright, in my opinion. It doesn't look the best, of course. That is all good because we're going to fix that, of course, what we're doing. Okay, like that. All right, so once you've done that, what you can do now is you can actually go to the main background, go to camera raw filter, and now we can mess around with these settings, the camera raw filter settings. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put the exposure a bit up, conscious a bit up, and we're going to put the vibrance a bit up as well. And we're probably going to put the temperature a bit up as well. So it looks something like this. And now it's going to look more warm. And we're actually going to have to go to the sand and we're going to do the same. Just press on the camera raw filter thing and look. Yep, there you go. It's going to select it. And once you've done that, you can actually go to the... You can actually go to the... Um, the G Fuel can itself, you can do camera raw filter. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make it stand out more. So we're gonna do exposure at just a little bit up. We're gonna do contrast just a little bit up. Highlights a bit up, shadows a bit down. Let's just leave it on like that. And we can put the texture a bit up and the curves a bit up. So it adds like this cool looking thing. And we can put the vibrance and temperature, of course, up. And there you go. That should look like that. It should match a little bit more into the like thing, of course. But yeah, once you have done that, let's create the shadow coming out of the bottle. So what you want to do for that is you want to create a new layer. And you actually just want to use this tool right here called Polygon Lasso Tool. You just want to create like, okay, wait, I just messed up. So you want to go from under the thing and you just want to create like a, like where the shadow would go. Like it would go like this. I'm pretty sure right i think so yeah i think so like that create a new layer of course this one does not have to be clipped and just like that and now what you want to do is you want to go to filter blur gaussian blur and you want to put it on 10 and you just want to put the opacity bit down so as you can see it it kind of worked uh i think i should have more like you can tell when it's like bad and good. So like, look, you can just, okay, wait, I messed up again. So we can just make this boom, boom. And we can maybe like make it bigger coming from like inside of here. 
now maybe it should work better there we go i think this should be better um cousin bird 10 yep that looks a bit better oh and it, if it looks like weird like this you can just use the razor tool to oh yeah make sure the hardness is on zero i can just you know fix it up a bit it's not a big problem see and you can just do that same with the edges there you go so as you can see that's the shadow done uh it's not the strongest shadow you could do more like this if you want or you could do less and what looks best for you uh of course this wasn't the best shadow <laughs> but uh it works okay so yeah that's what matters all right so what you actually want to do now is you want to merge all of them almost you want to hold control and shift you want to press on this group you want to press control j and then control e and once you've done that actually what you want to do now is open a pack called same pack or the same pack of course it's called i don't know i just call it same pack i don't know why but it's the same pack why this pack because this pack has something other packs don't have i'm joking every single pack has this cc's just the cc's for like nature and stuff are perfect for this pack so like this pack has really good cc's for like stuff like this of course my packs could work as well i haven't really tried my packs on this so that's why i'm doing this because i've tried this actually this pack on this, so that's why but yeah you could maybe use my packs as well so we're gonna do like a bit of vibrance we're gonna do this a bit as well as well so let's put the vibrance a bit down though and we could do this as well if we want to dc's just make it look better i mean you guys can tell come on So we're just gonna make it look more realistic just like that and of course you don't want to overdo as well you just want to keep it perfectly balanced uh so just like that that's pretty cool that's pretty balanced in my opinion so of course you have to mess around you can mess around with the shadows way more than i did and do it better than i did I mean, the shadows and the lighting and everything. I, I just kind of rushed it because I'm just trying to show, like, how to do it. But, uh, yeah, once you have done that, uh, what you can do now is you can do camera raw filter once you have merged both of them. So, you press Control e to merge. Okay. Um, actually, before you do that, use this tool right here, rectangle or marquee tool or whatever it's called. And now what you want to do is you want to right-click and layer via cuts. And now delete the bottom layer and now go to camera raw filter. So, now... What you want to do is you want to mess around with these settings and hope for the best. <laughs> so we're going to try to create the best looking. Okay. Just mess around with these settings, just like I said. Whatever looks best. All right, once you've done that, it should look something like this. And what I actually like to do is I add a bit of noise, just a little bit of noise, just to like, you know a little bit just a little bit just like maybe like seven seven's good like you can barely see it like you know what i mean and now what i also would like to do is i like to add the g fuel logo of course uh let's make it a bit smaller yeah just like that so you can of course do like buy now and you can do like you can put whatever you want here you can add like your little autograph or whatever on the bottom but yeah i hope i hope you guys did enjoy this little short tutorial i don't know if it was short but it's not definitely the longest tutorial Ads are pretty fun to make. Trust me, it's uh, very, very good for lighting improvement. So if you guys want to improve in Photoshop, lighting and everything, which is very, very important. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a lot of ads because they're really fun to do, honestly. Like if you get bored of doing headers or whatever you're doing, you can just do this. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash a like and subscribe. Have a good one.